Elon Musk hasn't delivered on his promises of full self-driving cars. Yet, anyways, Elon Musk has repeatedly suggested that we would be there by now. But frankly, we aren't. Yet the feature called Autopilot is quite an engineering marvel nonetheless. How does it navigate complex driving environments? How does it make sense of the information provided by the cameras and the sensors? What role does Tesla's AI play in decision making of FSD? Is it better at driving than human beings? I am Nado. This is how Tesla drives by itself. To get an idea of how everything works, take a look at this video. We can observe that from all the sensors and cameras, we can clearly say that the car is quite capable of identifying and tracking the vehicles on the road. Not only that, it can identify stop sign, lane lines, painted arrows, crossing, stop signs and other potential hazard we as humans are not aware of. For starters, we know that Elon uses cameras instead of something more reliable such as LiDAR. There are 8 cameras on the car. Each are different places with different functions. There are 3 cameras on the windshield suitable to record at various ranges. The car's front-facing camera is calibrated for visual recognition up to 150 meters. There's a wide-angle camera that can see more broadly for up to 60 meters and a narrow-field camera which peers into the distance up to 250 meters. In addition, in addition of these, there's four more regular cameras mounted on each side of the car. Two are facing forward and while the other two rearward for maneuvering into tight spots. There is a rear facing camera which can see up to 50 meters. All the information provided by these cameras are processed by Tesla computers and gives us the necessary information to be able to drive on the road. Earlier, the car used to boost a radar which used to be able to detect object up to 160 meters away by bouncing radio waves at them. Elon ditched them and believed that cameras are the only hardware required to navigate the car. Tesla have 12 small ultrasonic sensors situated around the car, each of them provide information of force around the car for up to 8 meters. This technology is also used in submarines and for liquid level sensing. The ultrasonic sensors provide a protective cocoon around the car alerting it if something comes closer to the car. The cameras and ultrasonic sensors work in harmony to help the car stay attuned to the surroundings. Add that to the car's amazing processing, wall class GPS, and we have a car that is amazing at assessing where it is and what's going on around it better than any human being. Of course, all the data is worth nothing if the car can process the data properly. So, how does the car process the data so that it can be able to run on the streets properly? Without being modest, Elon Musk has described the new processor for the car as the best chip in the world. Tesla's chip is a 260mm square prime chunk of Samsung silicon consisting of not less than 6 billion transistors. There are two of these aboard making that the car can perform some 26 trillion operations a second. This kind of computing power makes sure that it can respond real time to the information provided to the car by the various cameras and sensors. This sounds impressive as it is but the amazing part and Tesla's ace is the car can learn and learn it does. With the car receiving hundreds of thousands of hours of data from the fleet of Teslas out there on the road and the company manufactured 1.8 million of them in 2022, Elon collects information from these cars and sends it back to the headquarter where Tesla supercomputer Dojo trains the AI model. Dojo is a hardware system designed from the ground up by Tesla AI division exclusively optimized for training their latest computer 
television video based full self driving networks. The goal is to create a visual duplicate of the human visual cortex and brain function. We use that to autonomously drive cars. Basically, this system is assigning a designation to a cluster of pixels so the AI knows what it's looking at. The more the computer does this, the better it will get at recognizing patterns and making associations. Despite this system's brilliance, it upsets some because of the shadow mode. When in this mode, the car acts like an autonomous vehicle. Essentially, it makes but never executes a driving plan based on the data available and reports the outcome to headquarters to train the AI model. This is really good to refine and train the AI model but it raises privacy concern to some Tesla users. So, how far are we from fully self-driving cars? The closest we got is full self-driving beta. For an additional $8,000, the car drives by itself, but the drivers must be able to take over at any given moment. And this is quite right and proper, by the way. For now at least, tragic failures can and do happen. The passing of 38 years old Apple employee Walter Wong, whose Tesla's on autopilot mode crashed into a barrier while he was distracted by his phone. In March 2019, 50 years old Jeremy Banner's Model 3 slammed into a tractor trailer attempting to cross a Florida highway at 68 mile, shearing the roof off his car and sadly ending his life. Despite everything Tesla has to offer, Autopilot isn't ready yet. Tesla supports will say that full self-driving capabilities of the car are better than human drivers. The car doesn't get tired, drunk, or distracted. Still, each and every mishap by the autonomous vehicle sets back the progress of them by months if not years. It's positive to think that Elon Musk Tesla will get to FSD eventually.